are en route to the Pottery Barn outlet. We just got gas because it's an hour away from us and it's Mike's favorite place, right? <laughs> Mike really hates it, but I think he secretly likes it because we got a lot of good quality stuff from there and he was so excited when we found our couch from there. He was the one who picked it out. We've been looking for months for a couch and we randomly got this like, we got a $500 couch from the Pottery Barn outlet. At the end of this video, I will go over everything that we bought from there and like what the deal was. Like we got, like with our sofa, we got half of it and we had to buy the other half full price, but I'll go over all the numbers and like if what we got was slightly damaged and like stuff like that. I'm so excited over here. <laughs> so yeah, uh, stay tuned for that at the end because I feel like that's very interesting and like you'll stay really see that price. it is a really good price. Like I feel like the stuff we got is worth like what a normal priced like coffee table or dining room table would be and it's all pottery barn stuff so we live in north carolina so we go to the one in south carolina which like i said is about an hour away i think there's about 15 15 total pottery barn outlets throughout the u.s um so don't quote me on that, but I know California has a bunch. I know there's one in Phoenix or like Goodyear, Arizona. I think there's one in Georgia, Macon maybe. Anyway, don't quote me on this, but you'll have to see if there's one near you or near relatives near you. The only kind of drawback is they do do delivery, but I, when we went, it was just easier to rent a U-Haul. And we went on the weekend last time and all the U-Hauls were rented in this area because everyone does the same thing. So you might need to plan ahead. We, they actually, if you buy like big furniture, they'll hold it for two days. So if you need to come back like two days later with the U-Haul, which is what we ended up doing. But with it being an hour away, it was just like an ordeal, but it was worth it for the steals we got. So. We'll take you through today. I got a lot of questions when I posted that we were here like maybe a month ago on my Instagram. Like everybody was so curious about it. I didn't know that this existed until I moved here because I was so desperate for Pottery Barn furniture and finding it cheap and I just found online that they have outlets. So um, yeah, I had a lot of questions about how it worked. The pricing at the store, is it worth it a trip if you live like us an hour away? So I'll take you guys through, I'll show you some prices of stuff and the original prices and you can kind of decide for yourself if you think it's worth a trip or not. So obviously this is the South Carolina one. I have never been to any other ones, but yeah, we will see you guys in an hour once we reach Gaffney, South Carolina. <laughs> stopped in front of an adult superstore which I just think is hilarious. <laughs> Mike, so what happened? Hey, we got pulled over. We were speeding in a construction zone. Yes. We are going like what? What did he say you were going? Like 75? Uh, he never said how fast I was going. I was just, it was 55 as the speed limit in the construction zone and we were going over 55. Okay. Yeah. Very we just got a warning so we have money to still spend at Pottery Bar. <laughs> All right, guys, we finally made it. So as you can see, when you walk into the store on the left, there is a little chalkboard that states all of the deals for this week. So this week, lighting and wall accessories are 60% off while everything else is 50% off, which is typically the norm. I try to come when the furniture is 60% off, but that wasn't the case this week. All right, so we're just gonna start here in the dining chair section, and I will say this is the fullest I have ever seen this store with stuff. I think it is the post-pandemic return rush. Everybody is returning stuff that they got at the beginning of the pandemic that doesn't go with their home. I really liked all these chairs, and I like that they had a bunch of them. So if you needed a set of eight, you could have gotten them. I like the stain on the bottom. Each one is 50% off of $5.99, which is $300 each, which for Pottery Barn dining chair is really great. There's also these guys and these were 250 each with a little bit of a shorter back but they still had the pretty same stain on the bottom. I think for something like this I would definitely wait until a 60% off sale but they do have a huge selection right now. 
All right, so this is probably the greatest amount of dining room tables I've seen here at one time, including these Banks tables. They had a bunch of these guys, which I think are really pretty. I love the sea drift color up there, but you can see all the Banks tables lined up on the bottom left there. I was also really drawn to these um, gray armchairs. They were 250 each, so 500 total for the both of them, but I thought they'd look really pretty in like a bay window or something. Um, I also thought that this dining room table is really beautiful i love the kind of grain of that wood they were selling the top and bottom separately which is sometimes something pottery barn does so it was right around a thousand dollars for the table um they had a lot of benches but i do think that these are a little expensive um, this one being 450 for just the bench uh, here you can see all of the dining room table selection, a little bit of a better view of that. This is the Toscana extending table for only $650, which I thought was a pretty good deal. As you can see, it comes with the extending leaf on top, so you can make it larger. All right, so here's another example of Pottery Barn selling the top and the base separately. So this is $2,600. Um, total with 50% off would be 1,300, which I don't think is horrible, but it does have this chip down at the bottom. And I did check and the other two were in perfect condition and they were the same price. So I'm not really sure how they determine this at the outlet, but you definitely want to make sure you look over everything for any flaws or damages. Um, like this one was in perfect condition and it was 2,500. I think it was a size smaller. And so it would be 1,250 for the total dining table, which I thought was a really good deal for the bank's table in great condition. All right, so here's some wine cabinets and storage it looks like. And off to the left, we have a bunch of benches. I was seriously overwhelmed. Um, I zero in on this Toscana Sea Drift bench uh, after discount it was $360 which is great I feel like when you're using it with your dining room table and it matches but I want one for our entryway and I just felt like it was a little bit too expensive um, next up I was obsessed with this outdoor coffee table with the concrete top I just thought it was so pretty and neutral and would go with so many different styles um, it was $500 after discount and honestly it's an outdoor coffee table but there are no rules here I totally would use this inside um, but I just really wish it was a 60% off week and that would have been 400 and maybe I would have brought it home with me um, but I didn't so I really did like these wicker chairs too for 500 but it said it didn't come with cushions and the cushions were sitting there so that was a little bit confusing overall I'm not seeing any deals I would jump on yet um, next up are these headboards I've seen this headboard a couple of times here this beige upholstered headboard and I really wanted to bring it home with me but Mike pointed out that it does have the staining on the top and while I think it could be something I could get out there are no returns here so I didn't want to take any chances I think Mike was secretly grateful for those stains we're now going through the dresser section I didn't really see anything that caught my eye in here so I went to the next row I kind of like this vintagey looking one um, this gray one is nice and neutral, not crazy about the pulls, but to give you guys a price point, this guy is $800 on sale. So eh, not great. This guy is 650, but you can tell the corner is damaged. It said it on the card. So this tiny three drawer dresser is $350. I really do love the stain though, but the one next door actually is $50 more and it's way bigger. As you can see, you get a lot more space out of this guy and it still has that nice neutral stain. Next up, we're just kind of walking through the bedding section, which isn't something I usually like to buy at Pottery Barn, just because I feel like it's something that you're going to need to replace, and it is pretty expensive. I like to buy more statement pieces, like bigger pieces of furniture here, but hey, never hurts to look. So we're just kind of perusing, and then we will actually end up debating hardcore on a duvet cover, which is funny because it's the one thing that I don't like to buy from here. Okay, so up next is this gorgeous vanity. I seriously wish that I needed one of these. Um, it was only $500, which I actually thought was a really good deal for a vanity with a countertop and a sink um, because these things can all be pretty expensive on their own. Uh, I, there's a white one next door for $500 as well if you want more of the white look. 
um, another navy one, and then I love the one on the left too. This is so, so pretty. I've never seen these here before. I really loved this gray concrete countertop one, but unfortunately the corner was chipped, so these are just the kinds of things you have to look out for at the outlets and kind of weigh the price if the damage is worth it or not. So now I've just kind of started perusing the home goods section. I thought these flask binoculars were so cute. Um, Lots of like glassware and stuff. And then I loved this Bougainvillea. It was $20 a branch and it looks super realistic. I just don't have really any use for it. Maybe outside on the back porch to kind of look like real Bougainvillea. I don't know, but I got major grease vibes and I liked it. All right, so next these dough bowls were so pretty but so expensive i'm not kidding every single one was 199 dollars so that means that they were each 100 dollars. this one i thought was a way better deal because it was so big i could barely even pick it up um versus like the ones up top that were really small but yeah so i left those alone even though they were beautiful um <laughs> I liked this silverware set. Mike told me he thought it was ugly, <laughs> so I put it right back, but um, it was $25 for a set of, I believe, 20 so I didn't think that was a horrible deal for Pottery Barn. So this pumpkin was one of the closest things I actually came to buying. It was $25 for this stone-like pumpkin, and I just thought it was really different and would fit really well in a neutral space. All right, so we made our way over to the second warehouse because at this location, Pottery Barn actually has two storefronts. So we're just kind of looking through the rugs here. We are searching for a jute rug or like a jute type rug. Most of these guys are right around $1,000. So with 50% off, that would be $500, which for me is still a lot for a rug. So this sofa was actually a pretty decent deal for this huge sectional with no stains that I found. It was actually only $3,030. For a $6,000 plus Pottery Barn sectional, I actually thought that was a really good deal and I did really like the fabric on it. Um, this next one I thought was really pretty too. It's actually like a light leather. I'm not sure if the camera picks that up or not, but it's $2,400 and this one was in really great condition as well. I really thought that the bottom of it, the stain down there was just so cute. Um, so that's a pretty decent deal too. I really like this coffee table. I think it was like $330, which that actually would probably be a pretty good deal. Um, you can kind of see the rest of the coffee tables in this area. There's a lot of side tables that we saw too. Um, all right, so I was obsessed with this media console, you guys. It was $400, but the only thing was it had this little piece of wood that was chipped. Um, this is something that I honestly think would be worth it to fix. You could get some wood glue and you probably wouldn't even notice it, to be honest, and it's really worth the discount there for that one. We just didn't have anywhere to put it, but I totally would have got it otherwise. Oh my gosh, I loved this end table. It's $200, which I felt like was a little pricey, but we have the matching coffee table, so it was a very tempting. There was like a slight little scuff on the top, so $200 isn't really worth it for us, but we were also seriously considering this rug. It was 10 by 14, which ultimately we decided was too big for our space, but I love this design. I love how it looks super light. Um, there was a lot of rugs here, but I just feel like 60% off would be best. Um, when you're looking for these rugs because most of them are running like $500 and I just felt like that was a little bit expensive. Um, then again, they are great quality, but I just feel like this whole trip, I'm trying to compare prices to normal prices of things that you could get on like Wayfair or, you know, Home Depot or Joss and Main, sites like that. So I'm just trying to keep that in mind while pricing everything out. We also really liked this rug right here, but like I said, it was just a little too expensive, but this one was the right size and we almost got it. We actually had the sales lady put a hold tag on it while we decided because I just thought the chevron jute pattern was so cute and different. 
All right, so I'm walking back through the couch section and this guy is like 16, 1700. I love it because it's light linen, obviously. And um, it does say dirty places on the tag. As you can see, sometimes they specify what is wrong with it. And at first I didn't see it, but at the very end, you'll see it's on one of the end of one of the arms, but I feel like you can easily get that out. So I don't know if you'd feel comfortable putting that much for a sofa that had a dirt stain on it but if you want a pottery barn sofa that badly then that might be the right move for you they also had a lot of leather couches right around the same price range um these you can buy just like sections they have sections that um, don't have any matching parts and these are really where you score I feel like because that was only 200 and I don't remember the price on that one because I can't really see it but I know that it was cheap and that's what we ended up doing with our sofa and then we bought the other pieces full price so I'll go over that later how much we spent and I think you'll really be surprised but next we're going to head to the crate and barrel outlet I just had to get a last look at all of these ottomans um, but oh I liked this guy right here too so it'd be 50% off the 379 obviously it's a light and linen -y, so I loved it but I'll show you guys when we get over to Crate and Barrel all right so we just popped into Crate and Barrel outlet and this was a king size headboard for 399 and it was in really good condition I liked that it was neutral and would really go with a lot of different styles Okay, so I was obsessed with this cane headboard. I was freaking out and then I found out it was a queen because we need a king. Otherwise, I totally would have bought it because it was only $300 and I feel like that's so good for a crate and barrel headboard um, and it seemed to be in great condition. If it was a king, we definitely would have taken this home with us. <laughs> All right, so this guy was super damaged, but it was also super on sale. So it has that crack right there over the corner, and then there's just like a little nick on the other corner. But I just think this is so beautiful and high-end looking if you are able to get some wood filler in there or um, sand and stain that other side. To find a stain that matches would be the only hard part. <laughs> I feel like it'd be really fun to do a video where I go in and I buy the cheap, really damaged furniture, seeing if I can try to fix it. Let me know if that'd be something you'd be interested in. I liked this chair for only $269. I thought that it was really nice and comfortable looking. Um, this is kind of a good shot of the store. You can see all of the sofas. I really like the look of this office chair, but then I'm like, is that real cowhide? I'm not sure, um, but it was only $139 and I did really like the look of it. Um, here at the Crate and Barrel outlet, they don't do 50% off of the sale on the price tag. So what you see on the price tag is the actual um, final sale number. Moving into some outdoor furniture, I love this outdoor couch. It did have a couple stains on it, as do most of the white things here. Um, but Mike was loving these rocker chairs. Your battery is just excited to sit down, I don't know. Um, but these chairs are pretty cool. They were $211, excuse my hair, <laughs> but um, I thought that was a pretty decent deal, but Mike sat down in these and he said they were not comfortable, so maybe that's why they've been here for so long, I'm not sure, but I thought they'd be cute with maybe different pillows switched up. Here's where Mike's face says it all. <laughs> uh, nope. All right, so we just went to Crate and Barrel and Pottery Barn. We didn't really find anything other than the rugs, but... I feel like we're going back to look at the bedding one more time because I do have the $30 credit and it's kind of the same price as a nice Casa Luna duvet cover at Target so we have to spend that money <laughs> yeah. it expires um like when the new year comes so we still have two months but I just feel like I want to look at it one more time but I mean I think the last three times we've left here empty-handed like we've almost bought stuff but the first time, like, we hit a gold mine with the coffee table, the couch, and what else did we buy? Uh, anyway, we're going in. We'll let you know. All right, we didn't get it. We saved all our money. But it was fun. It was a fun look around. It was a fun little day excursion. And stay tuned because I'm gonna show you all the stuff that we got for the steals that we got when we came the last time. Okay, bye. 
Hey guys, so we are back at home and that was pretty much the lowdown of what the outlet looks like. I will say the last three times I've gone, it has been 60% off on furniture. So that does make it, I feel like a little bit more worth it. When I'm saying things are too expensive in my voiceover, I just mean like it wouldn't be worth buying something else new that's nice. So, you know, on like another site or Wayfair or whatever, you can get a lookalike or something similar for cheaper. So when I try to shop there, I try to find things that are like the same price or cheaper than that for Pottery Barn Furniture. Like that is like a mega deal. So obviously those are all really, really good prices for Pottery Barn Furniture. I was just being super duper picky. Excuse my dog, <laughs> I think she wants in. So our first deal that we got there was our sofa. Now we literally saw them unloading it off of the truck and we were like, we want that. It was an unbelievable price. So we got an L-shaped sofa and we got the middle section and the left section, I believe, for $500 total, so $250 per section. We looked it up online and the middle section full price is $1,000 and the left section online is $2,000. So we got a $3,000 sofa for $500, which was insane. And it was the color we wanted, it was super comfortable. We were like, we'll take it. So then we decided to buy the other end online full price. And even with doing that, we bought it on like a Labor Day sale. So the total for the whole couch was $2,000 with the other side. And this, I mean, I'm talking, this is a big couch. So I will show you guys what we bought online right here. We did buy it, like I said, on a Labor Day sale and it was 25% off. So a $2,000 sofa was actually only $1,500. Now the drawback, this is something to keep in mind when you buy sections of things and you have to buy something else from Pottery Barn, they do not allow you to opt out of delivery. So delivery, no matter what, if you're buying a large item like a sofa or dining table is gonna be $400. So that was kind of a shock to us and something that we didn't really factor in. So we got this $500 off of this sofa, but we actually had to pay $400 for delivery when we are totally fine just renting a U-Haul and picking it up from a warehouse or a store or something for not paying that delivery fee. But it is kind of nice because they come into your home, they put it together for you. They'll Even for us, they'll connect it to the other part of our sofa. So that's something to just kind of keep in mind. Um, but $2,000 for a huge, nice Pottery Barn sectional is amazing. And I will say we've been using the couch for like a month now and it is such good quality it's you sit down on it and it's super comfy and cozy but you get right back up and it keeps its shape so that is definitely something to keep in mind um, I will link below the sofa that we got all right so next up is our dining table and I felt like this was a major steal because it always wanted a pottery barn dining table I just feel like Nothing compares to like their stain and the quality of them, even when you buy the knockoffs. Um, so I just wanted one, but I just knew it was kind of out of reach price wise. And we bought a $2,000 Toscana dining table for $600. So this was the one that we got at the outlet and the one online was $2,000. Uh, which I think is an insane price. I think when we decided to buy it, it was, okay, can we even get a dining room table for this price with this good quality? And the answer was no. So Mike was a little hesitant because we're not in our new home yet and we don't exactly know the dimensions, but it did come with two leaf extenders. So we kind of are able to play around with size um, because of that. So we just went ahead and bought it. The only thing about this dining table is it actually did have a little bit of a crack that someone clearly had tried to fix with wood glue. Um, but we didn't feel like this was a deal breaker because it's barely noticeable when you look at the table as a whole. Figured we could put it in the back section, like facing away from our wall. And I think that I can even fix it with some sandpaper and a little bit of stain to be quite honest. But yeah, that's our dining table and I thought that that was a killer deal. The only thing that was 
really bad about this is we rented a U-Haul and we took our truck, our coffee table, and our dining table all in one trip. And we got to our apartment and we cleared out space, which our apartment is crazy packed with furniture right now because we have furniture for our home in a 600 square foot apartment. Anyways, so we were bringing our table upstairs and number one, we couldn't even fit it up the stairs. Like it was too wide. So like I said, when you pay the $400 delivery, they come and put it together for you. So it was actually pretty complicated and we weren't sure how to take it apart. And it was so heavy. The guys from the Pottery Barn outlet loaded it into our U-Haul. So we weren't really <laughs> familiar with how heavy it was. And I was shocked, like this thing is solid wood and we couldn't even get it up our apartment stairs because we live on the second floor. So let alone even through a doorway, it wouldn't have fit. So um, my in-laws were super amazing and let us store it in their garage because they live 15 minutes down the road. And so we're keeping it in their garage until we move in. But that is something to keep in mind. Make sure when you buy this furniture, since it's already put together, that it can get into your place. Otherwise, you will have a whole nother problem on your hands. And lastly is our coffee table. This was the thing I was the most excited to find because I had been eyeing the Folsom coffee table and there was no way I was gonna pay $700 for a coffee table. There is no dupes to this table as far as I'm concerned. I've looked high and low, so if anybody finds one, let me know. But this was my dream coffee table. I just thought it was so pretty, it was so elegant looking, and I love the stain and I just, really hoped one day I could get this table, maybe someday in the future, but I walked into the Pottery Barn outlet and I saw it sitting there and I was like, oh, it's probably going to be too expensive. And it was a 60% off. So it was $280. And I was like, that is how much we paid for our other coffee table. That's such a steal. And I was like, put a whole tag on that. We are getting that one. So we ended up buying it. It is in perfect condition and it sits in our living room and I love this thing. So we got a $700 coffee table for $280. Perfect condition. That was my favorite steal of our whole trip, even though it's like the least exciting thing, I guess. All right, guys, so that concludes my Pottery Barn shop with me. I hope that you guys learned a little bit of something as to how the whole process works and whether or not you've made the decision now to go check out your Pottery Barn outlet or just stick to online shopping. Um, I really, really appreciate all of the likes, the feedback, the comments that you guys have been giving me. Obviously, I'm in the very beginning stages of my channel. I edit for days at a time and I film, so it takes up almost half of my week and anything is super helpful. Any comment, any like, any subscriber, any of you that want to subscribe to my channel and see this content on a regular basis, I really appreciate it. Let me know if you like vlogs, shop with me, content like this, or if you like more of my DIY stuff because it really helps me decide which direction to go. Anyways, thank you guys again so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!